Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the fictional boyfriend book tag. And you can't see all my books, but these are all the boyfriends. And there's a ton more over there, but these are the ones that answered these questions. And as you can see, I did a lot of crossing out and rewriting. So first is going to be the most romantic boyfriend. And for this one, I, I had to choose Jem Carstairs because he's so sweet and romantic to everyone. And like, how can the fact that a dying boy could be so romantic just baffles me. And oh, it was so perfect. I loved it. I, I love him so much. Like, uh, and a lot of people are team Will, but I was team Let's Just Kill Mortman because I couldn't pick between the two. They were too perfect. Next is the dark, moody bad boy with the good side. Now, I am in the middle of reading this book now. I'm on page 254, and it's The Wrath of the Dawn by Renee Adahi. And um, Khaled is the boy king who murders his bride every... He gets a new bride every night to kill her in the morning. Such a good book, by the way. And I just started... I read it for like an hour and a half, and I'm already almost 300 pages in. But, um, I'm like halfway through it. And, but, oh my gosh. This, oh, he's so, he's so good. When you, like, he has a lot of moments where you just, you have to hate him. But he always makes you love him again. He always makes you, l like, fall into him. And fall into his grasp again. Just like our main character is doing with him right now. The next one is Paranormal Boyfriend. Now, I don't have, I read a lot of dystopian and stuff, and I I thought I read a lot of Paranormal, and I do, like The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and I read a lot of Paranormal, yes I do, um, but I, I had, I didn't realize how little I read from it, and I, I had to choose Evan Walker from the Fifth Wave. He's the alien in this series, so paranormal guys. He's an alien, but oh my god! I don't care if he's dead or not, or he's probably not dead. Spoiler, by the way, but it's fine. He's he's gonna come back. He's gonna marry Cassie, and Ben isn't gonna be in the picture. As you can see, I despise Ben. Next is a boyfriend you want to tame. And for this one, I chose William Herondale. And who doesn't want to tame William Herondale? Who doesn't? Like, I want to be the one to tame him because Tessa never could tame him. Ever. And neither could Jem for the matter. So, Will Herondale. We would read together and it'll be perfect. Um, the boyfriend I friend zoned. That would be Jay Tarendale. Now, I read it in order of publication date, and first I was in love with Jace. Jace was so sexy and sarcastic and witty and amazing. I loved Jace. But then I I read about Will and Will and <laughs> Which one do I love more? And it was Will. I loved Will more than Jace. And I don't know why, but it's kind of weird being in love with uh, a great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather and his great-great-great-great-great-great-grandson. So that didn't work out very well. I friend-zoned Jace, okay? Friend-zoned him. It's going up right there. Uh, soulmate. I, okay, so a lot of people really hated this book character, and I don't understand why. I mean, I don't understand, and I picked four from Divergent. Like, the first moment I heard four say, Welcome to Dauntless, in the book and in the movie, I was in love. Like, when she first saw him, I'm like, holy shit, it's going to be awesome. Like, they're gonna. I am. 
I have I don't have it yet, but I have it on Nook, and I've read it like 50 billion times, and I've read that was for a Divergent Collection. I've read it like 50 bajillion times. Like you can ask me, hey, say a line from the Trader, and I'll say a line from the Trader. I can repeat it. It's so good. I'm my soulmate is four. Four is mine. You try to take four from me. I'm gonna be like, had it on your ass. Okay. Next boyfriend is who would you elope with? And I picked Dorian from the Throne of Glass series. Um, I have only read this book. I haven't read any of the others, so please don't ruin me. Please don't. I've only read the first one. But um, once I find my nook, my brother probably has it. But once I find it, I'm gonna be reading Crown of Midnight and then Air of Fire. And then the Assassin's Blade, because I hear that the Assassin's Blade has a novella that goes into the fourth book, Queen of Shadows. So I'm I'm excited for Crown of Midnight, but I would totally elope with Dorian. He would take me on a wonderful honeymoon because he's the king and freaking amazing. As you can tell, I'm Team Dorian in this series. Team Dorian. Okay. Next boyfriend is the bi the person you the boyfriend you would venture anywhere with, and for this I chose Edward Cullen, and that's because he would protect me always. Like he would always protect me, and I'd be protected, and it'd be amazing, and I would love him, and he would love me, and he wouldn't try to kill me, and he'd get me all out of my multiple death ex experiences with near death, and. Hey, protect me. I'd live forever. Anyway, um, who would you want to be stranded on a deserted island with? And for this, I have my very killed copy of Lightning Thief, and I would pick Percy Jackson, because you're stranded on a deserted island. There's no one going to be there, um, 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 except you and Percy, and except me and Percy. And Percy... We can be there for as long as we want because Percy can draw the fishies up and we can, he can like sweet talk them and then I can kill them and we can eat the fishies. And then when we're ready to go, he can just put me on his back, call up the hip compy and we can all, we can both sit on the hip compy and he can tell us to bring him back to Camp Half-Blood. And we'll be at Camp Half-Blood. And it'll be amazing. It'll be so cool. Okay, and who's the most badass boyfriend? Again, I have only read the first book. I haven't read the second one, all through the sixth one. And I haven't read the companion series to this. So I picked, Dem it's Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. And I picked Dimitri. And that's because right now, I think I just finished this book the other day. And that then I got this The Wrath of Nodaba and Aidahi. But um I'm upset. I need to get the rest of the books just like they're on the glass. But I mean I am so Team Dimitri. <laughs> Team Dimitri out here, like, oh my gosh. But um Dimitri is really badass. I mean, all the moves, like, when he was in action sequences, there weren't a lot. But when he was fighting Rose, I was like, kick, yes. And when he was fighting um, Natalie, because, you know, the part where he fights Natalie, I was like, yes. Girl, the per like, I hate it. I never really liked Natalie anyway, and I think it was because she wasn't really a developed character. And even when we got to see her, she was still boring. And I know she was supposed to be boring, but, and then when she became Strogi, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, shit. And then, the end, with the Dimitri and Rose and the, the necklace and... Ah! I was like, the necklace scene. I'm like, it's, it, it's happening. It's finally happening. It's finally happening. And then I was like, because I have been awaiting this. And I didn't think, I, I know there's Adrian. And I know I'm probably, I might turn team Adrian. Right now I'm like, Dimitri all the way. 
Demetrius my fave. Okay, this is the end of the book boyfriends tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. And if you don't or anything, then don't do any of that. Um, if you have any comments, I'm hoping to do a Q and A soon. So if you have any questions, if you're watching this, just leave a comment and your question down below. I hope you're having a really nice day and bye!